Hey guys, Big Glenn here again, and today I was just going to do a quick video regarding <coughs> Bitcoin security. Sorry if my voice keeps cutting out, still haven't got over that cold. Um, so over the last couple of videos, if you've been watching my videos regularly, um, obviously there's been a few YouTubers that have got their accounts hacked, uh, their Bitcoin wallets, and they've actually uh, lost out on quite a lot of money from it. Obviously we talked about sort of scam ICOs. Um, obviously you have to be wary of like malware and viruses on your computer. Um, so this got me thinking today and um, I'm thinking even though I've only got a very small investment at the minute obviously I'm looking at investing in a company uh, that pay you dividends in mining so I'm going to start receiving Ethereum coins as a, a way of payment week in week out so do I really want all this over a long period of time stored on you know on my computer which you know the kids could break or um, you know, someone could hack quite easily. So, obviously, with me showing you everything on YouTube as well, I've probably give away some information that I shouldn't have done. Uh, so, <laughs> that's probably my fault. But anyway, so it got me looking into um, what the best ones are out there. And the one that everyone seems to um, rave about is the Ledger Nano S, which is a sort of like a USB drive, if you like, that has um, uh, an extra layer of security, um, or a lot more, if you would like to think, than a, a, an actual USB stick. So um, you plug this into your computer, you can see the images on screen here, it comes with uh, uh, instruction booklet, the, the stick itself, uh, USB cables, a little lanyard to keep it, you know, if you want to wrap it around your keys or whatever. But what it does do is it allows you to um, create your own PIN number. So when every time you connect it to the computer, you're actually going to have to type in the PIN number on the device. So for someone to nick my Bitcoins, they're going to have to come to my house, go onto my computer, connect it uh, to this little um, Ledger Nano S and know my PIN number for it. So even my wife couldn't get into it if I didn't let her know what the PIN number was. So um, that's sort of a, the most secure way that you're going to be able to store your money. So this is something that I'm definitely looking at investing now. Um, I was watching another YouTuber and uh, I was looking at these anyway because they're really popular. They're the ones that everyone seems to brag about. Uh, but as of because it's Black Friday today, and I know I'm doing this late in the day, so uh, by the time you watch this, you might be running out of time. But um, because it's Black Friday, instead of it being 69 euros, um, it's actually 54. So um, this is saying that I'm definitely buying. I'm going to buy one of these today um, because I want this to set myself up, obviously future wise, some sort of future proofing myself. So what I've done is I've uh, copied the link for this website. Uh, in the description down below so click on that link and um, you know if you want to keep your Bitcoin secure this is saying I highly recommend have a read through it it's got all the uh, ins and outs of what is included in the device um, it says that it's got extra security against uh, here we go malware proof uh, I don't <laughs> I, obviously I can't comment on that you know I haven't put that to the test uh, privacy, obviously your private keys are held, um, it's not known by Ledger, the company, uh, they're all you know, on you at all times, um, obviously you have to type in the PIN number, so yeah, it seems very secure, it's got a very secure firmware on it, um, and then it supports most of, uh, these are the apps that it supports on there, um, it's got most of the main coins on there. Um, so obviously I need to try that out, find a, a wallet that I can store onto this uh, device that I'm, and then obviously set my own PIN number. So I'm going to, obviously once I receive the item, I'll show you it properly on video and um, I'll have a little play about with the setup and everything and I'll sort of get my head around it. But yeah, I'm definitely ordering one of these. So I highly suggest that if you want to keep your money secure and you're worried about hackers and stuff like that, Definitely click the link down below, go to this website and buy it while it's got that uh, money off. Uh, they ship all over the world, immediate shipping to Europe, USA and Hong Kong. So um, if you're from any of them countries, it will be out with you pretty quick. So um, yeah, that's, that's my little tip. That's what I've learned. Again, I'm new to this whole process, so I'm learning as you learn. Um, so I'm going to try my best to get one of these and show you 
how it works and how I store my money onto it without trying to give too much away, like my PIN number and that. But um, other than that, I wanted to have a talk about uh, the markets. Well, I say the markets, the coins, if you like. Um, Ethereum has shot up. I think I did a video a, a few days ago saying that Ethereum uh, hovers generally around, for, in Britain anyway, uh, the sort of 250 mark. But today, it's jumped up uh, massive. Well, in the last two to three days. So I don't know. I don't know why. I need to have a little look into why it's gone up. I've been really busy today. I've been working up until I've, <laughs> I've only been home about 12 minutes. So um, Ephraim really shot up. Uh, it's worth £343. It's, since I did that last video about me saying it's worth £250, it's, it's gone up £100 since then. And I think Ephraim, I said, by the end of the year, it might hit 500. And if it continues like this over the next uh, couple of weeks slash month, then um, that's definitely going to hit the 500, which is good news for me because obviously that Environ company that I'm looking, ICO that I'm looking to start up, they pay you in Ephraim tokens. Uh, uh, sorry, not Ephraim tokens. Ephraim, uh, you know, uh, coins. So... Yeah, I mean, if that's a, a currency that's going to keep going up in value, I assume uh, yesterday Bitcoin went down and Bitcoin Cash went up. So it seems like every time something happens, the people were taking their money out of Bitcoin and putting it in Bitcoin Cash. Whenever Bitcoin dips down a bit, people put it in Bitcoin Cash. So I don't know if there's a, a correlation there, but it seems like every time that happens. Um, and obviously the other ones, um, they're all down actually. Most, a lot of them are down. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, that MVN, I was chatting to the guy that works there. Um, in, as I explained, obviously in my last video, um, they set, someone set up a fake website that's been shut down now. Uh, so you're safe that way for now. So just be careful when you do sign up on the day in case they set one up quickly on the day. Um, but December the 1st is when the um, ICO pre-sale starts. So obviously I'm going to try and get in there. Um, and then there's going to be a few other ICOs. So just ones to mention quickly. I think one called Naga, which is a, it's an ICO that's starting up that is... Uh, it's going to be offering a wallet that's got every type of currency on there and it's got very low fees for exchanging and it offers free tutorials and stuff like that. I don't know. It sounds it sounds like a big corporation type thing, you know, like website that have set one of these up and there's going to be some subscription or fee or something. But I don't know. They If that's what they're offering people, um, then that might be very cool. The other one was uh, Wax. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of Wax, but... Uh, this actually ends um, in the next couple of days, I believe. So WAX is the Worldwide Asset Exchange. And, yeah, it's got five days left. So today is November the 24th. So November the 29th, I believe. Or well, it might be the 30th, actually. Uh, this ends. And this has had a lot of uh, mentions on these channels here. Um, that Mike Novogratz, he mentioned Wax as well and said that he's invested in it, I believe, off the top of my head. So, yeah, it's got a lot of... Uh, oh, no, there he is. Um, Novogratz support. And basically, what they're doing is they're offering a platform where, say, if I wanted to sell money that I've earned in a game, so say, like, um, one that sticks out in my mind was Gran Turismo. If any of you ever play Gran Turismo you need to do races over and over again. Normally the Le Mans 24 hour ones and you accumulate quite a lot of money. But instead of having to do that over and over again, I could just go onto this platform, buy somebody else's money that they've earned, doing the same thing over and over again. So I can just skip you know, straight to the end if I only want to dip in and out of the game. I could buy the best car very quickly. I transfer them wax tokens and then they can either trade them in or sell them on or whatever. So. That's my very brief, I'm sorry if I got that completely wrong, but that's my brief understanding. Um, I just watched their video on here, on their website. Um, if you go to waxtoken.com. Uh, so that's another cool ICO. So I'm actually, there are quite a few, but I don't want to mention them in this video because one, I'm going to mix up and it'll get confusing. But um, 
yeah, I've got a few that me and my uh, friend are both looking into, um, and we're sort of weighing up the pros and cons which ones to go for, like investing. But as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know, and obviously I'll let you know how they get on. I'd love to get one of these ones that, you know, they go on the market um, and you know, let's, uh, and they sort of jump up in massive price. You know, say like this Nexus has gone up 77% in the last 24 hours. So if you had a £1,000 in that, you'd now have 1770 So um, hoping to grab one of them, but... Let me know what you guys think down below, comment down below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, BitGlen. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.